Welcome back, everybody. Today we have gameplay from the Pocky Plays Invitational over the weekend. That was an eight-person tournament featuring big names such as RDU, Sun Bacon Relaxer, now named Akaza, Lee, Jeef, and many other top-tier players, basically everybody who had been competitive for rank one at some point in time. So a crazy group of competitors doing a check format event just for fun and bragging rights, but it made some really, really cool lobbies. And the one I'm featuring today, I'll link the full VOD below if you're curious about the entire tournament, if you wanted to watch the whole thing. But this one, this one was a weird one. It was one where we could not find early direction. We basically low rolled the early game and said, all right, we got to shoot the moon. We got to die trying because we need to come back in this tournament. Getting a third or fourth or whatever here is not going to do it. So let's just take risk. And we play for the full board swap, completely flushing the board and playing for one big turn to counter lobby. All right. Enjoy. Alright. Demon Dragon Elemental Mech and Quillbore. We can three on three with a bad minion for Gale Wing. We can ticket us and rage. We can Omu. Westfall into into Jeep Curve. Faceless, a four star this turn. Cyclone, Soul Juggler, they're all pretty good. Is a random four star worth it? Yeah. Cards to hand, summon minions. Summon minions for Cook Book. It's okay in this lobby. But summon 18 is hard when you don't have any death rattles. Kidnap sack for add 10 to hand is somewhat doable with Thorncaller. Evil twin for spin 50. Pretty good for late game. We're just really weak in the mid game. It's just so slow. Well, he went three on three with us. Are we weaker than that? Because if we think we're stronger than him and we could still win, we probably want to try to get the thorn caller to proc. Because we're going to need two procs of this minimum. Probably going to need three turns anyway, unless we stay down. Yeah, that's not true. And if we get like a, you know, a, a minion that adds another thing to hand, we could get there. We just need this proc. And then we could do it in two turns, not three. Yeah, it sucks not playing wildfire first, doesn't it? Ooh, got an overseer. Nasty. But we get a W. I see. This is nice too. I missed what quest you picked. Kidnap sack. Ten cards to hand. We need four more to get kidnap sack. That was the bad opening hit. That was bad too. Right, at least that one wasn't. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's still a win. It's a win and we get our blood gem. So it's not that bad. Even if we did low damage. Well. Why, Bob? 
Why? It's probably worth playing for the four here, unfortunately. To get kidnap sack a turn earlier. It's not like we can just freeze and buy something else. Should use the blood gem though. I should use the fucking blood gem. Bofer! Bofer, what are you doing? Oops. That's not the triple. Bofer! Why are you dumb sometimes? Have you tried not being dumb? I hear it's better. Not being dumb better than being dumb. Sometimes, man. I just gotta acknowledge I have a bad case of the dumb. It's terminal. It's terminal, man. I lost myself a 3-3 buff. Now, it's a 3-3 on a minion I don't want to buff more times, but... That doesn't necessarily mean that I shouldn't have done it! It's a 3-3. Three, three. I think I'd rather just hold him, to be honest. We get the extra minion next turn. We are, like, really strong. <laughs> At this point in the game, we are really strong. We can go to four. We can use the gems on something that's better. Additionally, we could get, like, uh, well, any variety of cards that benefit from blood gems more. There's quite a few of them. And when we're going to win the round anyway. Another brute? It's just, oops, only brutes. Give yourself four? Nah. I don't really like Prop of the Boar. Bleh. Rendell. It's not the hits, right? How many blood gems can we hold this turn? None. I think it's just none. Forty-three. Yeah, it's just like I'm, I'm gonna level and do nothing basically next turn. So like, why am I holding blood gems? I'd prefer not to take damage. I see. I see. Good tie for, for Hoppa. Right, these still aren't triples. Nah. Baron. For what? Just because it's a Baron. Yeah, I'm kind of in that camp too. Camp take Baron. Good luck day two. Or good luck today. Good luck day two. Yo, dude. Thank you so much for the love. Nuclear Fox. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got a lot of blood gems. We got a lot of stats on the board, but stats are just stats at the end of the day. Stats don't pay the bills. It's like my daddy used to always say. Bofer, stats don't pay the bills. Utilities pay the bills. Nomi. Alright. Unironically, Nomi, if we get a good hit here. Nah. 
That's not it. That's not gonna do. He's actually terrible. I feel like we're gonna need some help pretty damn soon. I don't think Nomi's the help we need. No. Kinda. Alright. So be it. We need like a Necrolite? Kind of desperately. Ew. We're, we're real bad breakpoints here. Multiple minions for nothing. Now that being said, this hit here. Yeah, that could be like saving grace. Pog. 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 The Pogus dude. All right, we just, we totally Poggers all over this one. Unfortunately, did not kill, but we got really lucky. Really lucky. Candy corn mouse? Is that the appropriate response? Bristleback night. It was always double gnomey, guys. Murrow, though? Yeah, Murrow's okay against this guy. Like, Theotar is a good hit, but outside of that, it's nothing. Too bad we couldn't get this one. Plus, we're going to roll the board, so like... Just still feel like a Mega Buster is our most likely way of winning this. never a mega buster it's just not chat it's never gonna be it never was don't stop trying to make a mega buster happen ass pass 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 on everything another shot at theater You get Baron anyway? Yeah, it's kind of my feeling. Selfless Hero is also just a really good hit at this point in the game if we get Golden Baron. Could freeze Murrow in this situation. Good thing we didn't. He doesn't have what we need. Pretty good opening hit. Honestly, not a bad second hit either. Hoggers. Hoggers, dude. All right, we cleaned up nicely this round. You have every six star under the sun. Problem is six stars aren't that strong. We need direction either out of quest or synergy between minions. Six stars individually don't do shit. All right, well. Missed my wildfire already. Are we at two? I don't get a game. I don't. I don't understand.
Why can't you just let me have my high roll? Where's like the one fucking Omega Buster? It's the only way we do it. We just play Leroy this turn and hope we don't die from 36. Like, we don't scale in this game in any competitive manner. So we just play the cards on board for tempo to start. And then after that, we look for piecing together Exodia Max. Because then we can actually win the lobby. Unfortunately, like, the six stars are just worthless, right? Like, you can't take Nadina or Charlie or whatever and put them on the board and think that's a competitive level of scaling. If we got Theos off of the sixes, we'd been fine. Why not Rag Baron? What? 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 Rag and Baron? Need Necro? Yeah, Necro would be great too. But no Necro so far either. Fortunately, we take an L on this round. We're favored. Why not ragamuffins, dude? Alright. This mirror is going to give us our direction. You just got to believe, like, really hard. True believing here. There's a Necro. With extra gold. Mm -mm. I wasn't a true believer. That's my fault. There's one. All right, kind of cute with the necrolite, cuter with the ghoul. That's into you? I mean, I guess it's not. I'm okay for the turn. Not you. It's a battle baron? It's a battle baron. We can't get the Baron with that shit. Get that weak ass 60 damage attack out of here. That's right. Get him. Get him, Baron. <laughs> this Baron holds his own. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's a big ass Baron. All right. This is what we needed to be able to do, was pivot Exodia. We talked about it from the beginning. It's really just hit a Mega Buster. The entire game just turned into hit a Mega Buster. We need another Kangors. Selfless here is pretty good. Give him the cow! Give him the cow! Give him the chair! Second ghoul, if we get to golden Omega Busters, good. What about golden ghoul right now? There's no real harm with our current board, right?
swing and a miss. Can I fuck myself over if I use this? No, because all these things die. Just making sure. Just making sure. Never lucky. I probably want this off the board. Probably should pull this up too. Ever so slightly. Just because they'll target last position with our board state. need one more Kangor? It's not really at this point. With Golden Baron, you don't really need it. We just gotta, like, zap protect if we can. Because with one Kangors, that's the real risk with the zap protect, is that they just snipe the Kangors and then you just lose instantly because you don't have any respawns. You just get a board full of, like, 30-30s and that'd be your whole build. Top two. Hey, we get the lobby in check. Regardless of whether or not we win, Lee and I will have the, the lobby in check. All right, well, down to level. We can play Golden Buster. Gems. Yeah, gems are okay. You can also pick something up. It's a little bit of a downside on gems. You can really fuck over your combo. It doesn't make it better by putting it on Kangors, because then he just snipes a Mega Buster, and that doesn't solve your problem. But, but you can make a debate, or you can talk about it. How we get Baron so big? We had uh, Blood Gems in the middle of the game stacking, and we just moved them all with Necrolite. Feels like we should do everything we can to safeguard, though, in this scenario. You can play one attack for Zap. Doesn't change anything if it's one attack for Zap. What's it going to do? It's just going to hit selfless in the sum into this. It's like it doesn't change anything. Pup bot, then we just get a pup bot responding instead of a mega buster. Like, remember, things dying, bad. It could be like a 1 1 of some other sort. That's an option. But you guys are like, you're hard playing around Zap, and it's not the play at this point. It's just, that's just not it. I get it. Fear is a powerful motivator. But fear is the mind killer, right? Pog. Pog. He's dead anyway. We're Gucci. Cool build. Nice. Thanks, dude. Exodium X was our line. We were in the middle of this game with no direction. We knew scaling wasn't going to get us there. We just need to hit Omega Busters. And then we pivot that direction. We bought up everything around it. And eventually had to hit the Omega Buster. Good streak. Good comeback.